Hokianga Harbour Care was established four years ago with a broad vision to improve the health of the Hokianga Harbour. To achieve that, we grow eco-source plants that we provide to landowners. They incorporate those plants into their riparian planting programs, do wetland re-establishment or the erosion control plantings, and that's to reduce the loads of contaminants that are entering into the harbour and thus uh, impacting on the health of the fisheries and the, and the estuarine and marine ecosystem. Uh, we also have a big focus on education to try and lift the capability and capacity of our communities. So that's running seed collecting workshops, propagation workshops, working in schools on uh, water quality improvement projects, planting along local streams. That works to really provide a pathway forward for young people to, to support this type of environmental work. We're looking for as much community assistance as we can in this project, get people thinking about what they can do on their own whenua. Just one small step of positive environmental change that could be coming to a planting day or some other environmental group. If you focus on the positive and we all do that, then we will have massive change for the good. Yeah, I think what's inspired me is the old people I used to talk to in Hokianga about what they remember the harbour being like in the 40s and 50s and it was a place of abundance and that it was an integral part of their well-being and their life. There's still some rivers you can go up on this harbour that's pristine, mature and tapped indigenous forest, you know, drooping down over the water and it's absolutely magnificent to see that ecosystem and, I, and that's what inspires me is that the possibility of, of returning the harbour towards that state.